Guys, Merry Christmas from Uganda. Welcome to my very last flight review of 2020. Right now I'm in Uganda and I'll be flying Brussels Airlines all the way to Brussels from here. Uh, my first time flying them in economy class. Um, not much of an idea what we can expect, but they are known as an African expert. So they uh, operate a lot of flights to Africa and usually they're performing really well. Heard a lot of good feedback. I just checked in. Um, I'm going to head to the lounge because I have a priority pass, so I'll make use of that one. And then uh, we are going to fly for the very last time in 2020. So let's do it. Let's go to Belgium. The check-in experience was nice and smooth, as well as the immigration procedures and the security screening. And I believe they only have two gates here anyway, so there's KLM leaving for Amsterdam and Brussels uh, Airlines uh, afterwards. It's very small, but it's still going to try and take you around a little bit. They have a lounge, according to the Priority uh, Pass app. I'm not sure whether it's open, but let's go and find out. So there is a lounge, let's go and check it out. There you go. You need my boarding pass? Oh yeah. Help yourself. You can have mine too if you want. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. No, that's good. Have a good Enjoy, night. Enjoy please. I will, I will. Mm. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Evans. How are you? Very good. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can go. Yeah. This will be good. Yeah. Thank you for everybody here. So one of the perks when you travel on Christmas Eve or Christmas is that nobody else is traveling most of the time. So I have to lounge to myself. And I just met my colleagues from Airbus. So we had a quick drink, but they flew on uh, KLM. Yeah, it's a really lovely lounge. It is kept in the national colors when you see the seats. So yellow, black, and red. And something I have to say about Uganda is everyone is so nice here. Everyone is so kind. Like I've only met incredibly nice people. See, the flight is actually leaving from Kigali and then it's coming to Entebbe and then it's continuing to Brussels. Yeah, like so when I checked in, I was sequence number number 14. So, I, which means I was only the 14th person to check in and else at the, at the check-in counter there was nobody. So I'm very hopeful that I have an entire row to myself. That would be great. But anyways, guys, I'm trying some local beer, Nile, special. It's really good. Uh, so cheers, Merry Christmas. Ever since I started to travel, I use a VPN because I want my data and passwords to be protected. And that's one of the many things Surfshark does for me. Plus, you can use them on all your devices. But it also helps me to access all Netflix libraries all around the world. I can also watch the highlights of my favorite football team from anywhere in the world by simply changing my IP address. Um, another good perk, I also save money by finding cheaper flights through Surfshark VPN by changing my location. And the great thing is, you can do the same. If you use the link in the description box below, you will get 83% discount plus three additional months for free. On top of that, you support my channel. Now, let's go back to the review. All right. I had a few drinks already, <laughs> but that's okay. Now it's uh, boarding in five minutes, so let's do this. There's one problem though. It is a Eurowings, a, 330 leased and then they were given back to Brussels Airlines. Um, it's probably going to even be a different cabin. So they might still have the old Eurowings cabin. I don't know, but delivery is still Eurowings. I don't know whether that makes the review more interesting or more boring, but we definitely don't know what we get today. Thank you. So as you can see, it's a Eurowings pine. Uh, yeah, absolutely no idea what the cabin looks like whether it's Brussels Airways, whether it's Eurowings crew, whether it's Eurowings seats are like totally in the dark. But that makes today's flight, I guess, much more interesting. Hi. 
Oh, yeah. sir, can I sit there, please? Yes, Thank of you. course. Uh, that, this is okay. Right at the right, end. Sir, Thank you. Thank Brussels Airlines A330 comes in a three-class configuration with 295 seats in total, 30 in business, 21 in premium economy and 244 standard economy seats in a popular 242 configuration in the back. So and here we are, welcome on board uh, Brussels Airlines uh, on the Airbus A330-300 with Eurowings livery bin, but I'd rather say it's Brussels Airlines rather than Eurowings because I saw their business class as well and I remember Eurowings had the old, or the old, the identical uh, business class to Lufthansa. So if I'm lucky, the seat next to me stays free. When I checked in, it was still very empty. Let me give you a quick little seat tour. And here, there's a screen in front of me, um, in-flight entertainment, etc., everything. But here, even the Brussels Air logo is on here. So I guess this is exactly what you would get on any other plane. Uh, leg room situation. Is also pretty good and this plane originally the frame at least was introduced to, like was delivered to cafe pacific in 2008 so this plane is 12 years old uh, so far crew was really lovely at the door uh, you had to uh, sanitize your hands that is what you had to do and then i went all the way to the back flight time is like eight hours wouldn't mind another drink i'm like <laughs> in christmas mood right now so i want to have a few drinks get slightly drunk <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because it's my last flight of the year as well so this is a was a rubbish year it was a terrible year so i just want to like end it with a few drinks i don't know what else i can tell you so i hope that this area is going to stay um free so maybe i get a flat bat uh, uh like poor man's business class later if you're wondering what the recline is like this is it and you have a really nice headrest as well so it keeps your head in place when you sleep so far so good so first call of action of the boarding is completed the crew is handing out uh, blankets before takeoff the cabin was sprayed and headphones were handed out also a quite entertaining safety video was shown we left a few minutes ahead of schedule and shortly after takeoff dinner was served said food was very very standard nothing extraordinary like uh, and that was catering loaded in Entebbe so it is it varies a little bit from what they usually serve uh, when they depart Brussels found the crew to be excellent very lovely hardworking efficient very quick um, proactive uh, with a smile on their face so I didn't see a, a false note um, anywhere else. Uh, the only thing that is rather disappointing is the in-flight entertainment. There was literally no choice. I'd say 25 movies max, maybe a little more, but uh, also like it's lacking ver variety. Yeah, that's probably the only thing that is underperforming a little bit. So I was expecting a few more choices uh, when it comes to the in-flight entertainment. Other than this, um, it is a solid flag carrier. I'm probably going to give you a bit of a, a lure review. <laughs> the crew is like looking at me. Sometimes they really look strange or surprised when they see someone speak into a camera. Come on, it's 2020. Yeah? People do that. <laughs> Even if you're not a vlogger. How many people are talking into like phones when they do Instagram stories? Um, anyways, I'm going to probably have a bit of a rest now. And then I'm going to give you a lure review. And then... Uh, yeah, maybe there's another service. Might be a breakfast service, uh, we'll see. But so far, so good. The in-flight entertainment also featured a city quiz, so I wanted to show off my extensive knowledge about Singapore since I have heaps of subscribers from this lovely little country. So, a beautiful good morning. Uh, I slept pretty well for four, five hours. Um, here's the loo, which looks like a complete mess. 
but that's all right. Um, yeah, the only thing that I didn't understand is that the crew not once throughout the entire night walked through the cabin with like at least a tray of water. Uh, that would have been nice. Uh, otherwise, uh, it was a very quiet night. I'm gonna freshen up now a little bit, and then I thought I saw they were just preparing a breakfast service. I'm just gonna have a coffee, and then uh, yeah, in like an hour, you're already uh, landing in Brussels. Uh, yeah, so far, so good. An hour prior to arrival, a small little breakfast box was served, which contained a real Belgian waffle, an orange juice, and some cookies. Also, tea and coffee were offered. Thanks to our early departure, we managed to land ahead of our scheduled arrival time. So, and this is my flight on Brussels Airlines. It was great. Lovely crew, very, very lovely crew. Um, that was definitely what stood out for me the most. The uh, seat was right, the headrest was pretty comfortable, um, the food was average, but overall it seems to be like a very solid airline that has very motivated, very ambitious crew. The only letdown was probably the fact that the in-flight entertainment was uh, a little disappointing. 20 plus movies, I mean, that's not a lot for it flag carrier, but the only thing that's the only floor I pretty much see. Otherwise, I'd strongly, strongly recommend them. I only paid 425 US dollars, plus the onward flight I have now uh, with uh, Lufthansa to Frankfurt, which is included. Great flight. Thank you, Brussels Airlines, for a beautiful trip back home. They brought me home uh, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day, and that is uh, very much appreciated. This should be it, guys. This was my very last review of 2020. I wish you guys a wonderful Christmas. I'll probably be publishing that video sometime in January. So um, I hope that you had a great Christmas. Uh, other than that, let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Brussels Airlines. And uh, check out my Patreon if you want for some extra perks. And other than that, uh, this should be it for 2020 this year. But you probably already watched my uh, worst flights of. 2020 where I what's this flight? Jesus where I already dedicated a few special words to you guys. So this is it guys thank you so much for watching and where we off to have a safe trip.